We're learning new details about exactly what led happened in the moments before and after a train crash into a Platteville patrol car with a woman in the back seat. Nine News reporter Darius Johnson joins us live from the newsroom. Darius, we have new video where we can hear from the officer who parked on those tracks. Hey there, Erica. That's right. Moments after the train collided with the police car with Yarini Rios Gonzalez trapped and handcuffed in the back seat, the officer who left his car on the track said he didn't realize anyone was inside. Side. Take a look at this newly released body camera video. You can see the Platteville police sergeant Pablo Vasquez explaining what happened. That's him right there in black. He says he pulled over Rios Gonzalez after an alleged road rage incident. Sergeant Vasquez says she parked in front of the tracks and he thought he cleared the tracks as well. His focus was on her car because they were trying to determine if she had a weapon inside. They later found she did. Vasquez told an investigator he didn't know the Fort Lop Lupton officer put her in his patrol car until moments after the crash. We cleared the truck okay. and then we cleared the back. And then as it was clear, we just started going back and then the, uh, the male officer with the glasses. Yeah. He's a train, train, train. Yeah, that's and then I hear that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear that. And then I start moving this way and wow. Now, to be clear, in some of the video that we had previously saw, you can hear the train horn going off as those officers were searching her vehicle for that gun. The train conductor told another Platteville officer they were going over 40 miles per hour when they saw the car on the tracks. They immediately pulled the emergency brakes, but it was too late. Sergeant Vasquez credits the Fort Lupton officer on the scene for placing Rios Gonzalez on the driver's side of the patrol car, saying that likely saved her life. Erica, at this point in time, there are no there's no word on any charges for Rios Gonzalez or the officers who were involved. Yeah, Darius, it sounds like really poor communication between those officers and still the big question, why park the car ever on those tracks? I mean, you get out of the patrol car. If you're parking it on the tracks, you're going to walk over it. So I'm assuming you would at least feel it. Um, um, definitely something that we are hoping to figure out in the coming weeks, if not coming days. Absolutely. Thank you for breaking that down.